Okay, I'm here to play Choo Choo Charles. Let's jump right in. Um, I th just think it's a cool habit to play all games that come out that are from like other big game dev YouTubers. It's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. No, trust me, you'll want to make time for this. You're looking for something big to keep your museum in business. Well, there's something big on that island. Honestly, I already know this intro because I've seen it in a couple of other Let's Plays. I've already checked it out a little bit. If anyone can bring this well, I'll, down, it's you. It'll be the biggest I'll let it play for you. Ever seen. And you can help an old friend. Yes, meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. Choo-choo! Cool. So we got a very nice intro there. Very short, juicy, and to the point. Yes, sir. They call him Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. We've been planning his demise for some time now and have nearly everything in order. Just a few people to meet and places to see. Symbol errors, ah, you know. <laughs> I can already move the camera. Yes, nice. Yes, sir. Welcome to Erinirum, the island where miners dig their own graves. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. Okay. Pretty. You got those pretty Unreal Engine graphics. Watcha. Watcha. Okay, nice. It's not quite ready with the 1 billion frames per second that I like to have in my game, but hey. There's a train shed at the top of the hill. One that the might just be my PC. It, it could be okay, honestly, I already know this section of the game, so... Gotta go up here to the shed, and yeah, the goal is to kill the monster train. There's a monster train on this island. Our goal is to kill it. Destroy it! Ha <laughs> ha! Murder it! Ha <laughs> ha! And first of all, if I remember correctly, we're gonna get the keys from over here. As mentioned, I haven't played this, I've just seen... I have seen a speedrun and I have seen... Uh, Thomas Brush play this on stream a bit. Just wanted to give it a go myself. Cause yeah, as mentioned, I usually make that... Or I try to make that a habi habit that whenever... Game Dev YouTuber... I watch releases a game, I obviously want to play it. Hell yeah. Otherwise, that would make me kind <laughs> of a hypocrite, you. Kind of, right? Looks like you found it. Asking Open you to play my game, then the not way. supporting the people I watch. So, yeah. Uh, what I fi find interesting about two star games, I, th I think if I remember correctly, the developer is called Devin, but I might, might remember incorrectly because I'm very bad with names. So if I got that incorrectly, I'm sorry. Um, one thing that's very fascinating about his YouTube channel is that he really didn't upload that many devlogs. I think for Choo Choo Charles, maybe he had 15, 20 devlogs, so not an insane amount. But each devlog he uploaded has so many views, and also this game has like 5,000 reviews already. And from those 5,000 reviews, the, I mean, the game's 20 bucks, so <laughs> all I wanted to say is congrats for becoming a millionaire, right? Because you made this game completely solo. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. Congrats for that. I think it's well deserved because it looks, looks awesome. All right. D now what should we do? Oh, right. The, for some reason, the text is in German. I can change that for you. Probably, I assume. Uh... I think I'm happy with hi. Also... Where can I change the text language or do I have to do that in Steam? Cool. That's also an interesting way to do this. 
there's basically an invisible uh, mountain here that just allows me to slide up this ladder. That's definitely a very indie game kind of way to solve this problem, but honestly, very, very fair. Thomas Brush already talked about this about in his live stream a little bit that obviously as an indie developer, especially if you want to make huge games like this, you got to take some shortcuts. So this is like a very smart shortcut to take, honestly, because otherwise you would have to need a little climb animation or something. And if you do it like this, you can literally just use the normal walk script and don't have to write anything, any additional code at all. So that's cool. Um, sure, we'll just, the this easy, the train is quite easy to control, I think. So this just moves the train forward, this stops the train, this moves the train backwards. Then here you can upgrade the train, here you can shoot the monster. All, all very simple, right? Use it to quickly navigate the island, blah, blah, blah. Uh, skip. Tap. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to do now? I didn't really pay too close attention here. You can just upgrade the train. Damage, armor, speed. Yeah, fair enough. Not the most interesting upgrades. It would be cool if you could like attach additional modules to a train or, or whatever, but you know, get gets, gets the job done. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> what do you want? That's what I'm talking about. She's an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to inspect the train's exterior. Why don't you take a peek inside? Sure. I was already about to do that, but uh, maybe I had to talk to you first. How do I get out of here? Thanks for teleporting in here. <laughs> Another nice shortcut. This guy just teleports when you're not looking. Very well, good. The exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks... We can light up Charles with it. Are you ready? Sure, sure. Uh, it's not like you're gonna live for much longer anyway, so yeah, might as well shut up. We're coming for you, Charles! Do you hear that? It's him! It's him! Get to the guy! Light him up! Light him up! Careful! Don't let the gun overheat! He's not taking it! Up, damn it. No. Let's turn the train around. So this is a pretty great intro. The reason why I think this is a pretty great intro is... Um, oh, did I run him over with the train? Oops, <laughs> I'm sorry. This isn't how things were supposed to end. I thought we could still fight like the old days. Yes, sir. So why is this a great intro for the horror game? I feel like it's a great intro because it instantly shows you the monster, right? Because as far as I've understood, the monster only shows up very rarely, so that could be kind of a problem if you market this as a horror game and then you basically play for half an hour without even seeing the monster. So this makes sure you see the monster right at the beginning, also this kind of gives you a motivation to avenge this guy or whatever. So great start, makes a lot of sense, I like it. Because, you know, imagine this opening, but you haven't seen the monster yet. Then this wouldn't be nearly as cool, because you're just like, okay, I guess I'll go explore. And now you know what the stakes are. And that makes it feel quite quite a bit different. Um, right, with M, you go to the map, very intuitive. And I think there are these these points here where I can decide where I want to go. Oh, that's a cool thing you can do while driving in the train, just looking at the map. And most important thing we gotta do is finding scrap. I'm sure I've missed a lot of scrap already.
Where do I want to go? Is that where I want to go? Yeah. Let's go there. Whatever. Let's go there. I wonder how this is balanced, because honestly, I feel like if I'm attacked by Charles at this point, there's not much I could do about it. So I'd be very curious about how all of the balancing and of that sort of stuff works. Hello, just what do you have from me? Must be the archivist that Eugene told us about. We're happy that he came to help us out of this predicament. You know, that old trainee need some major. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use the key to the barn. It's just... Okay. I'm honestly not that interested in the lore, or especially if I've already seen parts of it in gameplay videos before. Well, you know, there's not that much lore anyway, so just kill the train boy. Oh. I really like exploration games with handcrafted environments, so that's kind of up my alley actually, even though horror games in particular are not really my kind of thing, but uh, I mean it's not like this is super mega scary so far, it's more like a bit of a creepy atmosphere. Outer Wilds is one of my favorite games of all time, because I really like the exploration aspects of that and I like that about this game here as well, that you can just kind of go around, explore, and then with kind of upgrade your train slowly. And in a game like Outer Wilds, I would now be very keen on reading all of this, because I would be like, oh, there's probably some useful information in here that I need to access some secret areas and so on, but here I already kind of know that this is just basically useless lore that's not gonna give me any in-game benefits, so I'm not gonna read it. But if there was anything useful on screen here, then you can shame me for not reading it when watching this video. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> not sure what I was doing there. It's uh, mostly just world building stuff. Okay, I think I can peek around corners like. Okay. Yeah, I, I like exploration games that aren't nearly enough good exploration games. And I also like that there are these points of interest, so I already know there's probably no point in wandering off into the forest here. So we'll, we'll just stick to the points of interest that have been placed on the map. can upgrade. Uh, we have nine scraps. Level two costs three scraps. This line in the middle here is slightly confusing because it looks like two to three scraps, but obviously it's level two, three scraps. All right. Um, Discord. How about you shut up and stop making weird beep messages? <coughs> I don't know. I guess we'll just upgrade all at once, because I really do not know what the best upgrades are. So, let's see if we can spot some... Oh, holy shit! This map is huge! 
see if we can spot some more points of interest. Here's one. Let's go there. Just a creepy exploration game. I like it. In a in a way, honestly, Outer Wilds was quite scary as well. Outer Wilds so far had me more scared than this game. Hello, pickle lady. I already saw you. I think. Okay. Okay. You kind of look like you want to hug me. Come on. You chuck. Eh. Okay, I can stand on top of you, I guess, if that's okay with you. I'll just have to figure out how how to get there. Can we glitch into the house? Can we glitch in there? Can we? Can we? If so, the speedrunner would have done that and didn't see the speedrunners glitch in there, so we probably can't glitch in there. Okay, so you want pickles, yeah? Pickles? Okay, I can't talk to you anymore apparently, but I know you want pickles now. And it marked that location for me, so that's nice. Get the pickles from the pickle cave. It seems for this we need some sort of lock picking abilities, but hey, we found two scrap. That kind of sounds like Choo Choo Childs might be near. I'm not entirely sure what the audio cues for that are, but I'm sure there are some audio cues for that, so. I don't know. We're just gonna run back to the train, and whatever happens, happens. Not like I can find the train anywhere, right? Is there any scrap? Is this scrap? Oh yeah. Find one scrap, another scrap can't be fire. But at the same time, I'm happy that the scrap is not just placed all over the place, but mostly sticks to points of interest. Because otherwise, I would be encouraged to run in completely uninteresting places. And we don't want that. We're going to be encouraged to go to the interesting places. Okay, uh, I think I want to... Try going here and then maybe go down there. <coughs> you gotta switch the direction to the right here. Hey.
Gotta be some scrap here, right? Blah, 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 blah. Let's just scan if there's anything gameplay relevant in there. I don't think so. Hmm, sound slightly changes. Okay. I just want to go back and check how much scrap I have real quick. In a way, this game is actually kind of relaxing so far. We have like this this calming sound of rain. Okay, now things are exponentially getting more and more expensive. Let's upgrade speed. It's quite pretty. Pretty pretty for ex especially for like. Uh, Game that solo developer made. Mm hmm. Scrap. <laughs> Scrap. This looks similar to the area where we've been in the beginning. Hello, me. Hello, me. Don't mind me, I'm just collecting all of your spare parts. My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. I'm so glad you did, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although, now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please, bring the journal. Okay. Will you bring you your stupid journal? So I guess that's, it. that's uh, the area where we're going next then. Honestly, I think similar to what uh, Outer Wilds does, it could have been cool to just always mark your train on as well, because that is something you have to find quite quite frequently, I imagine. I don't want to waste a marker on my train. already set correctly oh yeah that's where we're gonna go and I know there are all also like uh, underground caves to explore and so on so I'm kind of curious what we'll find. Or when Choo Choo Charles is gonna get us, cause it's inevitably gonna happen at some point. Why do you guys keep putting letters everywhere? <gasps> Scrap! Say, you're that monster hunter! I must know. Do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? 
Sure. You wanna go me into creepy haunted labyrinth? Uh, of course! But first of all I gotta pick up the, the journal. There are really quite a couple of similarities between Outer Wilds and Choo Choo Charles. Like you, you have a vehicle to traverse the terrain quickly. Having something to traverse the terrain quickly is always nice in exploration games. And if that vehicle is some in somehow an important part of gameplay and not just a means to an end, that's even cooler. So, very, very nice. Love it. Okay. Okay. Also very interesting textures here. So basically, always having a bit, little bit of hand-painted stuff on these textures. Interesting, interesting. Um... Yeah, here on the ground as well. So, that looks like a... A ripped texture, but then there's a little bit of scrizzle on there, so that's cool. Uh, scrap! Now we wanted to go into the... Wait, did I actually pick up the journal? Yes, I did. Well, let's go here now. To the creepy labyrinth, or whatever that is. What is this place? Is this like uh, the shrine where we have to kill the ghost or... What is that? Because that is very suspiciously placed there almost as if you want me to see that before going on the quest over here. I'm looking right past your design this or I don't know how to call that, yeah. I'm, I'm looking right through you, uh, aren't I? I wonder if the rainy weather's ever gonna go away. If not, I don't particularly mind because I like it. Who knows? Alright. Mm. So, something, something with these letters here. Uh. Uh huh. I know what you're getting at. You're making me play Slender Man. Uh, this is a very obvious reference to Slender Man as well, so it's kinda cool. The ghost get us? The ghost invisible? How do I know where the ghost is? How do I know? How do I know? How do I, how do I, how do I know? Oh, okay, now I've seen it. the ghosty maybe 
I should try luring Mr. Ghosty out of here to the altar, but honestly I don't even know where a way out of here is, where the ghost can follow me. That's such a <laughs> such an obvious blender, uh, Slenderman weapon. Because Slenderman does the same thing where every time you pick up a paper the music gets more intense and the monster gets more aggressive. I get that page. How about you leave me alone? How about you let me find what I came here for? Stop screaming. Not gonna help anybody. Oh. Oh, you followed me quite far, didn't you? Mr. Ghost. Now the train's gonna get me or what? Oh, fantastic. Not like I could do anything about that though. Maybe that's what makes it a little bit less scary for me, kind of the f knowing that <laughs> there's not much I can do about it anyway. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Woo. Just one page missing, unfortunately. The last one is always the hardest one, because now I've already looked everywhere. Found all the pages. Nice little mission here. I like that it wasn't too long. Was had decent pacing. Be cool. Ooh. Oh, there's volumetric light. Holy hell! Unreal Engine at work. Go up here. <laughs> Is there any scrap I missed? I do want scrap. Hello. Thanks for bringing me those papers. 
Here are some scraps for your help. How many scraps did you give me? Let me in your house. I helped you. Lady, would you be so kind to let me in? Yeah, I'm trying to jump on your head. How many scraps did you give me? It didn't tell me how many scraps it you gave me. Oh, you gave me a lot of scraps though. Okay, okay lady, we're okay. Not entirely sure how many scraps you gave me, but those are enough. Oh. Didn't I collect these already? Do they respawn? That's cool. Not saying no to that. Or maybe those were the exact two I lost when dying and those respawned or something. <coughs> Not entirely sure how that works. Okay, so we'll upgrade. A bit of everything. Fine, and we'll repair the train. Because now we have a lot of scrap. Where do we go now? As it looks like back here there are some quite a couple of points of interest we don't want to miss out on, so let's go there. If we can go there that is. Yeah. Yeah we can. Good. There's another point of interest here, another altar, uh, similar to the one we see over here. So there are these two altars. I do like going on a little exploration trip, so if I see a point of interest that interests me, I want to go there. That's, that's what I like about exploration games and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but now that I think about it, actually I probably one of the characters I'm gonna talk to will have a quest for me that leads me here anyway. You know what, let's talk to the characters first, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna tell me more about this. Won't they? <laughs> yeah, they will. Okay, now the rain is slowly stopping and I'm wondering, will we even get some sun at some point? Nah, hell nah, right? Okay, let's plunder all of the scraps. Talk to the characters, get their quests. You mind, don't mind if I'm I do? I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Uh, n n names, uh, in case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Uh, one, one of the eggs is, is in the North Mine. Uh, Here's here's the key to the entrance. Okay. That seems like we discovered the main quest line. Cool. Thanks, Eugene, or whatever you're called. Uh, 
another house here. Gonna be another NPC here as well. Tell me where you are hiding your scrap. I knew it. I have some scrap next to your bed. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Where's that? Okay, it's probably one of the buildings we saw earlier. Um, but before we do that, let's go grab the quest from this guy. Telling me there's scrap here. I keep my eyes open then. Why do people like collecting stuff so much? I don't know why that is, but somehow just gets you. You want it. You wanna collect it. You wanna collect it all. Cool lighthouse, yeah, landmarks. I like landmarks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Pretty sure that'll send me on a quest to find like four fuses or four, four whatever, or some things. Almost missed that scrap. Holy hell, that scared me more than Charles. Hello. You mind if I uh, look for some scrap in your house? Hey, why did you lock that door? Madam, open up. FBI. Bah, bah, what do you mean you don't have any scrap in your house? Are you crazy? Woman, are you crazy? We haven't met. But I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. Oh yeah, you 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 know about my obsession for scraps. Uh, huh? That's embarrassing. Give me the scraps, woman! I swear, if you don't have enough scraps, okay, I don't even have to walk that far. That's acceptable. Ah, uh, that's acceptable, madam. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 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 hell yeah, oh, it's getting better and better, really, with, with every piece of scrap I collect, this game is getting better. Okay, call lady. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, I don't think I have to talk to you actually now that I think about it. I have to talk to <coughs> Come on the puzzle as well <laughs> Nice 
Nice! So I bet now that we're getting some ships, the other guy with the journal can leave. That's nice. So wholesome. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps I promised. Just tell me how many you gave me already. Why does it never tell me how much, how many scraps it gives me? That would have been a no-brainer, honestly. But okay. Um, so now we gotta think what we wanna do. What do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? Um, closest quest marker is here, so that's probably where we're gonna go. I wonder how the game decides when Charles shows up, if, he, if he's just literally basically roaming the map. Or maybe, you know, there are some games that basically have an, uh, have an AI director and basically that I, or, or no. So it's basically on a timer, like every 30 minutes or something, you get to see Charles. So there are some high intensity and some low, low intensity moments and then maybe the more quests you have fulfilled the more often Charles will show up or something to, to rise the intensity. So I wonder how that works. Not that we're gonna find out or anything but I'm just curious and speaking my thoughts. Alright. Yeah of course we're not getting in. Um. Uh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but first of all, let's look for scraps. Cause I know, I know you're hiding them here. Such a simple game loop. You're just looking for scraps to upgrade the train. And there are also some main storyline quests, I guess, like finding the eggs and so on. Boom. Okay. This place is a little creepy, not gonna lie. Uh, where am I supposed to get another one from? Uh, something's flipping in and out of existence here. The light cookie. The light cookies are blipping in and out of existence. That's fine. Okay. Where do we get another dynamite from? Where? 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 Well, 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 where could it be? Where? Where could it be? Where could it be? Oh my god, do you see what I see? Do you see that? That over there? That is scrap. I want the scrap. We gotta get in there. How? How do we get in there? Uh, uh, give me the explosives. Just, just, just give them. Give me the explosives. Oh, scrap. Okay, was a great decision to come here. Already paid off. Have you ever asked yourself why is Jonas so good at video games? Yeah. Yeah, I ask myself that all the time. Okay, so... We'll have to go in here. Ah, come on! Don't be so mean to me, I just wanna... I wanna go in there. Okay, there's a bridge, that's good. Bet we can find some dynamite here, right? And some scrap. 
even more important. Why does every house have a container like that? I guess, I guess now that I think about it, most people probably need water or something. Looks like a water container. All right. Um, yeah, it's open. Nice. Oh, son of a! That actually scared me a little bit for a second. Oh God! Now why are you doing this to me? Why are you giving me the creeps? And also the silence. Where did the creepy music go? Way too silent here. Okay, here I gotta learn some lock picking skills again. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, and that looks like explosives. I could really use some explosives, my friend. Anyway, maybe I'm already way, way of course. That could of obviously be the case. I'm just gonna go back to the bunker and look again there, because this doesn't strike me as the kind of quests where you have to go in a completely different direction or anything. He, he said, can you quickly go grab the thing for me, right? So it should be possible to get it relatively quickly without searching everything, every little corner. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice moment. <coughs> that's a little weird because usually these boxes aren't clickable and then all of a sudden they are, but okay, we'll let that slide because it was very cool. It was very cool. Nice. Charles, I'm not gonna go come out of here, just so you know. I'm not sure what the... if there is an AI director, what the AI director is planning for me, like... Will Charles always appear after you collect that here, or is that just... coincidence? Nobody knows. So I'm gonna go here, and we're just gonna try to run there. As usual, whatever happens, happens. Maybe, I don't know, how do you avoid getting killed by Charles? Maybe you can hide, actually. Maybe that's a thing you can do. Yum, 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 yum. Launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Oh, and take good care of it. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. What? Are you just giving me the launcher, but no? Where did the launcher even go? Where did you put it, you monster? Don't tell me you attached it to the train. Why would you attach it to the train? I, I want a weapon as well, man. I hear this. Oh, uh, okay. You can only attach weapon to train. Fair. So this has a lot of damage, a lot of range. And now we gotta get to test it. It was kind of expected.
Okay, that was cool. I think we scared him away. But we do not have a lot of scrap left. Okay. <coughs> so now that that happened, we can now think again about where we want to go. Okay, here we covered everything here. Here was the journal that we have to bring here. Should we bring back the journal? Uh, I don't know. To me it kind of looks like the most interesting place to go right now would be here, because we here we still got a lot of quests and we got also got that cave entrance. Maybe we got some points of interest here. We already visit this place. This looks like a... Oh yeah, this is a bigger version of the temples we saw before. Yeah, no, no. Makes the most sense to just stick to the coast and go here. Well, this is going to be a long episode if I upload this. Let's keep going for a little bit. Choo-choo! Why are you slowing down? I didn't allow you to slow down. If I see any scraps, I'm jumping out right away. Although that's not where we want to go. Damn it. I jumped off to the... Do you see any scraps? Anything, any sign of scraps and I'm out of here. Immediately. Honestly, the train's not that much faster than me just running, but for some reason it's just really kind of more chill to travel by train. I'm not entirely sure why that is. And of course, smart decision as well is to attach the gate gun to your train, so that kind of forces you to always bring your train as well. Mm, island looks a little bit samey everywhere, but it's kind of fine. Because there are some points of interest and really the points of interest are are what you care about. I mean uh, I probably missed some scraps right there. But we're gonna get there eventually. I see scraps. They're lying around here so blatantly. Oh, although there's a little station or no, it's a bridge actually, okay. Unfortunately, I've already been spoiled a little bit. I think I know what's gonna happen with that bridge. And now I spoiled you too, even though I didn't mean to. <laughs> Water container. Scrap 
Where is scrap? Give me scrap. 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 Always walk around all buildings in these games. Scrap, 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 scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. Open up, FBI. You're the archivist my father told me about. Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't spoil you that much. Now you know it's gonna blow up. We're gonna blow up the bridge. <clears throat> I wonder how much playtime this game has, because at the moment, honestly, I have not the slightest clue. It could be a... I, I'm guessing at least something like... Six hours? Could be a six hour game, but could also be much more. Who knows? Because the main quest. Oh, I thought we were falling. Whew. Main quest is finding. Prob probably finding those three Charles X, I assume. And we have. So far, we found zero. So. That to me indicates we're not that far with the main quest yet. So there's probably quite a bit more playtime left. Uh, it's a bit handholdy. I really like the way Outer Wilds does things, where you kind of have get get to explore on your own, figure stuff out on your own. But I understand that this is a little bit, little bit of a different game, Dif with different goals and so on. So all good. All right. I hope you have some scrap for me as a reward. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. So with that I can summon Charles, or what exactly is the temple? Ah, okay, but I need the axe to summon him. Oh, okay, got it. Well, let's... It's a weapon mission. I honestly don't need that many weapons. Weapon mission, required mission. Fine, let's go there. Fine, fine, let's go there. And then we're also gonna check out the mine. Cause I want to. Hey, this video ends when I say it ends. Okay. Okay, I'm having fun. I'm gonna keep going. <coughs> uh, map. Ah, yeah, we gotta go forward, just making sure. It's not like the marker is right in front of me or anything. Hello, my friend. I hope you have scrap. It's the only thing I care about. I like the environmental storytelling here. This guy apparently set up some traps against Charles. Always appreciate details like that. Why would you only have two scrap next to your house? It's like nothing. What's, what kind of weapon is that? Come on, why do you keep locking your doors? 
not like I'm, I'm some weirdo who would just walk in here if that wasn't the case. So I really don't understand why you'd block that. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles. The hob was such a brave. Just let me know what I gotta do. Have left to the gun and steal back those other parts. You can put it back together to use against. Just do me one thing. If you do end up using it, name it Bob. Okay, that's quite far away. Far away. Mob camp infiltration. Okay, so we'll just, I guess, drive there and shoot everybody from the train. <coughs> boing, boing. Just making sure I got all the scraps. See, I missed some here, so great that I checked. You weirdo, lock your door. The archivist, in all your radiant glory, Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. There's an ancient shrine on the island, a pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose to destroy monster eggs. Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully loaded, a massive beam of energy is emitted, seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. The mutineers hope this event will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. We saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose despite the danger. So, here's the mine key. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end. Okay, just as assumed, we need the eggs. The eggs. Yeah, not going there now, cause now we're going here into the first mine. Frick, where did I put the train? See, that's what I mean. Why is the train not marked? Oh, actually, going by train is faster than running. I take it back, especially if you've upgraded the speed a little bit. Let's enter the mine and let's hope it's creepy this time. Because the biggest scare I had so far was when I almost missed a piece of scrap that scared the hell out of me. That? Nobody. It's nobody. Don't even worry about it. I'm just looking for scrap, my dude. Hey. What's wrong with you? Where do you keep your scrap? Gonna lure this guy to the train? If only I knew where the train is. Wish you never came here. Be a chump. Yeah, just just follow me. That's right. Keep keep following me. I got a little something for I'm you.
You're welcome. Uh, how do I leave? So that's interesting that the only weapon you have is attached to the train. That's definitely very interesting. Uh, it strikes a good compromise because usually horror games sometimes have the problem that at some point you become too powerful and then the monster is not really scary anymore. Or the monsters or whatever. Cool. Oh, it kind of feels like we'll be able to connect some shortcuts here later on. Yum, yum, yum. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Friend. Sure, just follow me to the train. That would be fantastic. Will, will you be so? Yeah, yeah. Just, just come with me. Come with me. I have something for you. Thanks for the scrap. Excellent, you're still... You're yeah, well yeah. I'll give you some time to catch up with me. It's no, not a problem. <laughs> Thank God I have got like M, because that guy knew he was in trouble when he saw the train. Can we now finally peacefully go looking for the egg hero or what? And for scrap of course. And another box we can't open. When do we finally learn to lockpick these? Another one really? It's like a one-way ticket. No trespassing! I'm already going in a completely different direction, so... Don't even worry about it. Just 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 follow me, okay? You're doing great, you're doing great, yeah yeah, just come with me. I wanna go back in there, so I would really appreciate if you would help me to unalive you. Right there! 
imagine we could have done that to the to the aliens in Echo of the Eye. That would would have made things quite a bit less stressful. <coughs> uh, I just wanted to make things a little more exciting there, and that's why I didn't use my godlike aim for for a little bit. Oh frick me! I'm actually stuck. I had to grab the gun there just to get myself unstuck. Woo! Ada woo! I'm sure there's some more scrap in there. I think now we can peacefully explore. Not that I care about a piece of paper, but I do care about scrap. I think we found most of the scrap except for boxes we can't open. I have a feeling this was pretty much meant to go this exact way of being spotted here and then being chased outside. Because there's nothing more here, so yeah. That that was always meant to be the way this is gonna pl play out, so that's cool. We'll open this from the other side at some point. I know it, you know it, we all know it. It's obviously useful that you can reuse the rail system for the mine shafts here, just for visual decoration. Happy coincidence. So now we kind of know how the underground things look like, now we kind of know how everything's gonna play. Now I'm definitely one of those people who I do not finish games. Right? I play games for a little bit till I get the hang of them and then I usually never finish them. Even though as everybody I plan to finish them, I intend to finish them. The only thing is I never get around to it and then I never do. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, right? It happens. It happens. Okay. I think I've been in these houses, right? Fairly certain. Have I been here? Yeah. Probably. Probably, probably. Ah, come on. Do you want me to shoot you again or what? Where are you, child? Where are you? Also, what was that house? Probably your house would have been already. Yeah, probably. What's here? The mob camp. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll visit the mob camp and then, then we'll end the video. Ooh, the forest is getting a little denser here. I like it. I like it.
That is not good. Maybe my godlike aim was not quite good enough here. I'm not sure. So where am I now? Okay, I'm in the same place. I just lost, lost some scrap, so that's nice. Let's use this gun. I wonder what the advantages and disadvantage of different guns are, because there's really only one enemy, so it's... or one important enemy, so it's not like you could say this enemy is good, or this weapon is good at countering this enemy, this weapon is good at countering this enemy, it's really kind of... only one important enemy, as mentioned. Okay. Now let's see what we'll find. this weapon actually <laughs> or can run them over that's cool wherever you are come out Or was that it already? Telling me there were only three guys. And I ran two of them over with the train. I mean, okay. Okay. You psychopaths. Why would you lock the door? Uh, the thing with running over your friends it, w it was a mistake, I promise. Man, where do I learn that lockpicking skill? I can... I can see you have some scrap in there, you can't fool me. Wait, what was that key for again? Maybe the house downstairs? Or... Or was that a quest key for something else? Ah. If only we knew. Epic! Hell yeah! The uh huh. Pling plong. Okay, got a new weapon. Nice. I want more scrap though. Telling me that's all the scrap I'm getting out of this. Everybody knows damage is the most important stat. Oh damn, our train was kinda low. Oopsie doopsie. Well, alright, I think this is where I'm gonna end the game and the video. So thanks, thank you very much for uh, watching. And I intend to keep playing if I actually will, that, that's a different question. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. See ya.